foolish mortals. Neo Star. And now Chris is free of the whale's tyranny. Thank God. With new horizons uh, on the way, we explore the world around us. A fucking axe. So it's jungle land. So I've been to regular land and desert land and ocean land and now jungle land. Oh, cool! When I unrock, it kills things nearby. Cool. Watch out for that caterpie. Neither me nor he seem to give a shit. <laughs> I wish you could double up. I wish you could get, like, double rock. Double you everything. You know what? I don't know if you can. Oh, I don't think you can. Yeah. I think you tried it before. Fuck, I love Kirby music. It's so goddamn chipper. Yeah. I, I wonder if I can eat that thing. Nah, you can't. We tried it before. Alright, then I will continue about my day. <laughs> oh, God! Oh, nice dodge, Ooh. man. See, that whale trained you Ooh. up good, man. That's the whale was your fucking Mr. Miyagi. Oh, oh! Dude, you just got Ramboed. I think the Predator might be at the end of this level. <laughs> <laughs> I- Okay. I know I say this pretty frequently, but... I really just wish the Predator would just show up and more shit. <laughs> like, it would really make me happy if the Predator just, like, appeared. Oh, uh, did you see that, uh... That comic I found? Which one? Oh, right. This. Um, Predator vs. Archie. Oh, yeah, I did see that, yeah. I read it. You read it? I read the comic. Did you buy it? I bought the comic you and then I read it? it. It's in this apartment right now. Yeah, I bought it for Stark. I sent that picture out on uh, Facebook and Stark flipped the fuck out. What the fuck? <laughs> it turns out the spikes were the one thing you <sighs> couldn't run away from. <laughs> anyway, Stark asked me to pick it up for him, so I did and naturally read it immediately. Okay. How was it? It was alright. Okay. I, I, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I've never read a single fucking Archie thing. Ever. Oh, nor should you. Archie is a terrible fucking... Mm, I don't know anything about it at all. It's the worst. It's something for grandparents. It's a, it's a grandparent comic. Okay. But, uh, Archie vs. Predator... I like his crossovers, because, like, this isn't the first time oh, some God. insane crap happened to Archie. The, uh. the one that I really like, and if you want to put a picture of this up when I say it, that'd be great. Okay. But, watch out, uh, watch out, watch out. Archie versus Predator? Oh, just... Or, sorry, Archie versus uh, Punish Punisher. Oh, wow, really? That happened? Yeah. And there was, like, a new logo for it and everything. That's where it was, awesome. like, the Punisher skull, but it had, like, Archie's nose and eyes. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that was a very real thing that occurred, and it's one of my favorite things ever, and I wanted to get it tattooed on my arm. <laughs> That's silly. I love it. They were also uh, talking about doing a Casper the Friendly Ghost meets Ghost Rider comic. What the fuck? Yeah, that failed. They're not going to do it, but uh, it was something that uh, they were working on. There's got to be like a Casper and like Ghostbusters like crossover, right? No, I don't think so. Seriously? There's got to be one out there somewhere. Maybe? I don't know. Look it up. What the fuck is that? It's like a pterodactyl bird. You hit the wall and bounce back like an idiot. Well, I suppose that is just the uh, natural process of this creature. <laughs> and now it's dead. <laughs> Goodbye, sweet, sweet bird. Dude, you gotta get rock fire. Wait, no, that's uh, dynamite. No, 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 bomb, bomb. Oh, rock okay, makes okay, dynamite. Yeah, yeah. So what's this? Oh, Holy shit. that's new. Can you aim it? Yes! Oh my, oh my god. god! That's fucking rad, dude. Alright. You have become the volcano. Get shit on. Awesome. This is perfect for ups. Dude, this is perfect for this level, dude. You're in like a dinosaur-themed level, and now you're a volcano. Dinosaurs hate volcanoes! Exactly! You just fucking- you got- fitting as shit. Whoa, jeez. Oh, this is getting tight. Well, I fucked it up, but I think I'll be. Oh! Oh! No! No! Okay, 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 you gotta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. I didn't. I didn't. I couldn't save her. It's alright, man. Oh, hey, I can one this mine. She's dead now. We can, we can. We can move on. Oh, I'm that fucking shit. I couldn't save her. Oh, hey, look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, neat. Blah! <laughs> <laughs> 
some Superman shit. Like, Kirby can just blow on you and you die. Yeah, pretty much. God, I hate Superman. <laughs> Everybody I'm, hates Superman, I'm man. P.O. Nah, man. A lot of people like that shit. That doesn't dude. make any sense. Why you, would you like that? I don't know. You want to go see Batman v Superman just to see it? I've already got a. I'm already going to see it. You're already going to see it? Yeah. <laughs> like, begrudgingly. Absolutely begrudgingly. I don't, oh, man. It's the sort of thing where it's like, I'll watch it when I don't have to, like, you know, when it's on, I don't have to pay for it. Like, when someone else is watching it, I can just check it out. Not me, man. I'm- I'm paying for it. Um, I refuse to support this garbage. <laughs> I will say, uh... What was your end game there, spider balls? You win this <laughs> round. <laughs> <laughs> anyway... I'm excited to see- okay, well, never mind, let me rephrase that. I think Ben Affleck will be a, a handsome Batman. <laughs> that's all. Hey, he's not the worst Batman that's ever existed. Who is, do you think? George Clooney. Wow, really? You say George Clooney? Yeah, man. Why George Clooney? Have you seen those movies? Well, it wasn't his fault. <laughs> they put fucking nipples on the costumes and shit. I don't even give a shit about the costume nipples. Uh-huh, uh-huh. All right? <laughs> what, what, what made it bad for you? He was just terrible at it. That movie was bad, and he was bad, and he should feel bad. I'm gonna be honest. It's been a long time since I have seen that movie. Like, I don't think I've seen it since I was a kid. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. There okay. you go. That was also when I when I was a kid, I, I... I felt like I was supposed to be attracted to Uma Thurman. <laughs> but I wasn't. Why wouldn't you be? Why wouldn't I be attracted to Uma Thurman? Yeah, man. I just don't think she's attractive. I don't know. <laughs> she's not unattractive, but... I don't know, I mean, it's like the sort of thing where it's like, you know how sometimes in movies they'll cast some, like, normal-looking lady, and then just, like, every fucking guy in the movie treats her like she's the most, like, beautiful woman on Earth? They do that a lot with Uma Thurman. Wow, dude, you... That was, uh, that was some tricksy shit right there. <laughs> that was... I was trying to eat that thing. That was some tricksy shit. But no, you, like... Like in Kill Bill, everyone's like, oh my god, Uma Thurman, she's so beautiful, she's she's so attractive. In that movie, like, her character. Okay. She's not ugly, She's she looks like a fucking normal lady to me, she's not that attractive. And I'm not saying, like, you know, I'm, I, I'm not, I'm not saying she's ugly, that's it. I'm not saying she's ugly. That's all you got. She's not an ugly woman, but she's, there's this fucking, like, there's this thing in, like, Hollywood where they treat normal-looking women like they're fucking, like, the peak of sexuality, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just, it's over the top and it's silly. That's all. Okay. Uma Thurman is, is my example, my go-to example of that. Why, you think she's a babe? <sighs> Not exactly, but, uh... I don't know, what do you want from Hollywood, man? <laughs> Well, I mean, if you're gonna try to cast someone as being this, like, total babe that's gonna make, like, every guy fucking lose their shit and, like, go fucking apeshit caveman every time they see this lady, cast someone who actually looks like that. <laughs> and I'm not even saying that from, like, a, you know, I wanna see that type of thing. I'm just saying, if you're gonna go for that, then fucking cast for it. That's all. So you don't, you don't want equality in Hollywood or anything? I don't give a shit about, no, it's not about equality, it's about... It's about fucking... That's what Nazis said. It's not about equality. <laughs> that is literally what the Nazis said. <laughs> no, it's not about equality. It's about casting someone who doesn't look like what you're trying to sell. It's, for example, the lady they got to uh, to play Wonder Woman in this new sh fucking Superman movie that we were just talking about. She doesn't look like Wonder Woman at all. And they're going to sit there and tell me that she's Wonder Woman the whole fucking movie. And I understand Wonder Woman's subjective. She can look like anything. But... It doesn't, you know, every rendition of Wonder Woman ever has certain, you know, a certain look, and she doesn't look like Wonder Woman. She just looks like another fucking generic, same body type as every single other Hollywood actress fucking lady. Yeah, Wonder Woman. She, Wonder Woman's one of the most generic fucking characters that's ever existed, in my opinion. She has things that would... The lady they got to cast Wonder Woman doesn't look like Wonder Woman, that's it. The guy they got to cast Superman looks like Superman. 
Nobody looks like Superman. Dude, that guy looks like Superman. I'll give them that. If Superman's I'm gonna give them got credit like for one, one of those thing. impossible physiques. It's like uh, I'm not talking about casting somebody to look like the Hulk. It doesn't work. <laughs> Lou Ferrigno is as close as we're gonna yeah, get. Man. Everything else is CGI. You fucking hold your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Lou Ferrigno pulled that shit off. <laughs> yeah, Lou Ferrigno pulled off like the weirdly like reasonably proportioned Hulk of the 1970s <laughs> comics off. Because regular Hulk was actually, like, shorter than most of the other, like, superheroes uh, yeah, in the universe. Yeah, he got, universe. like, Wolverine. Yeah. Like, he started as this short, like, gross man monster. And then the over time, he just became this fucking, like, wall of green <laughs> meat. <laughs> nah, dude, okay, the guy that guesses is Superman, I think he looks like Superman pretty well. I, I mean, want... He doesn't have the fucking trapezoid body <laughs> Superman has, but they did- They got as close as they feasibly could. But the, the lady, the Gal Ghetto, I believe is her name. She doesn't fucking look like Wonder Woman to me at all. That's not, not even going into fucking Jesse Eisenberg. He <laughs> looks Luthor. He looks, he's fine. I haven't seen him like bald. I've only seen him with his hair. Well, in there. he's playing a different Lex Luthor. There was a Lex Luthor that had like the big red hair. Like The that. only one that I know of with that was the one from fucking Smallville. Oh, we need to cut the episode. Oh. Well, I was having a nice conversation. Yeah, no, but that, that that's the breaks with time constraints. Okay, well, next time on Foolish Mortals, more about how every Hollywood actor sucks. Except for Helen Mirren. Who the hell is that? You don't know who Helen Mirren is? No. She's by far the most attractive woman ever. Really? Arguably, yeah, actually. <laughs> I was being a little bit sarcastic, but... She's, uh... She's a beautiful woman. What would I know her from? I don't know. She's 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 a little bit on the older side now, but uh, I think she was the lady in red with that movie with Bruce Willis. What she movie? was she was the old lady from that movie. 